Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mohammed Al Tajir, a human rights lawyer and the head of the Bahrain Human Rights Observatory, which is a coalition of most human rights groups based inside Bahrain. And part of our mission and mandate is to continue our observation and documentation for all Bahrain commitment towards United Nations mechanism, especially the, the adoption of the UBR recommendation which was issued in May 2012. Most of these recommendations ask Bahrain to stick to its views, especially when it ratified eight out of 10 treaties, international treaties. As individuals and as Bahraini government officials, we have to respect the human rights values. And I'm wondering whether the Bahrainis officials cannot secure the right of freedom of expression, the right of education for their family, the right to be treated equally before the courts, the right to get treatment in the public hospitals. Unfortunately, most officials in the Arab world, not only in Bahrain, will always quarrel whether the human rights values are a Western values or a human values which, is, can, which can be implemented for all the human being. And I'm wondering also whether if they said that it is essential that any kind of values, any kind of treaties, even democracy or, or human rights, uh, symbol of human rights, are, can be implemented for all the kind being, or it is a Western values, but they should go back to the origin of, of, of Islam, where it protects even the rights of animals. Moreover, as a human rights defenders, we should go and document all the human rights violations, and we should. We should compare whether these values, which is in the, in the, in the treaties, which is in the, in the, in the declaration, human rights declaration, uh, which, which is in all United Nations Convention are respected in our country in, in, or in the other countries. Since 13 years, Bahrain King, King Hamad bin Isa bin Salman al Khalifa, when he took, about, took the power almost 15 years back, he himself took a big, a big role by signing most of these treaties. But unfortunately, the main idea is that the aims justifies the means. Rectify it and violate it. That's why we have seen a tremendous human rights violation, human rights atrocities, not only during the past through, through years. And as Kevin said, since 15 years, they are monitoring the situation of a human rights defenders or the, the situation of detainees where they have been subjected to all kind of torture methods. I won't go farther in, in naming the kind of torture 
being subjected, uh, uh, be, being, uh, 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 I have been personally subjected to, but of course we should go further to see that Bahrain has rectified, as I said, eight out of ten. One of them is the Convention Against Torture and other, uh, and other cruel or harsh treatment, uh, the elimination of all form or racial discrimination, child rights protection, international treaties of labor, discrimination against women, child trafficking, and even recently, Bahrain government rectified even the convention of armed trades. But I, th I think everybody has have, have feared about the tremendous number of the, tr the, the tear gas shipment which is used in Bahrain towards the protesters. But uh, I'm going to concentrate in some of the, 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 the main rights, especially for these weeks segments in, in, in Bahrain. Uh, if I speak about the right of uh, the, 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 the civil and economic rights, all Bahrainis has right to be educated. But again, Bahrain shows that education, especially the higher education, education being diverted to only one sect or these people loyal to the regime. And uh, a young reporters, and yet it did not respond even for the, the, the reporter in a freedom of, of religious freedom. And he signed a request since almost a year, since 2012. So again, if we, have to, if we want to speak about the, the signing the treaties or being the first country to have reviewed here its, its, its human rights uh, uh, and UBR, UBR uh, uh, obligation, again, we have to ask ourselves whether what is the impact of rectifying the treaties the answer is always sign it and violate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mohammed, for uh, your presentation. Uh, you have raised uh, a serial, serious, alarming points. I'm sure we will have uh, a good discussion about it. Before.